So now that we know the formula for the um, radius of an inscribed um, circle in a triangle, we can find out things about it. And so the formula, if you remember, was area equals the um, one half times the perimeter times the all radius, which is the in radius. Um, another way to say this would be the semi-perimeter times all. And so in this case, we can find the semi-perimeter very easily. It's just going to be 1 half times 8 plus 12 plus 18, which is the perimeter. Um, we don't know R, and so what's left is trying to find out what the area of the triangle is. Well, if we're going to do the area of the triangle, we're going to use that semi-perimeter. Again, the semi-perimeter turns out to be 19 on this particular problem. And so we're going to have the square root of 19. So in this case, I'm using Heron's formula, which is a formula for the area of the triangle. And then I'm going to subtract each of these, 19 times 11, 19 times 7, 19 times 1. And so that means our area is just the square root of this. They have no factors in common. These are not perfect squares, so I just multiply them out. I'm going to do 77 times 19. Get 1463, and so the area is just going to be the square root of 1463, which means the radius of the inscribed circle just is going to be the square root of 1463 over 19. And so, if you want to find the area of the inscribed circle, which is an initial question, we're just going to do um, pi times that squared. And so it turns out to be, um, well, you just square the radius, and so that's going to be 1,463 all over uh, 19 times 19, which is 361. But we know that 19 was a factor of 1,463, and that 19 here is in the denominator, so we can actually take those out and get pi equals um, a pi times, well, 19 out of 1,463 is 77, and so the answer is. 77 pi over that extra 19 that is left. And so the area of the circle inscribed in that triangle is 77 pi divided by 19.